Hi, I'm dermatologist Dr. Dipali Bharadwaj and we will discuss something very interesting today, smoking. What can smoking do to our skin health? A single cigarette will release almost 5,000 chemicals in our body. Yes, a simple single cigarette. And those beautiful machines called hookahs and shishas and what youth is using today, the vapor, the, you know, that electronic cigarettes, etc. Well, all of this contains almost 36 times more tar and more carbon monoxides. Beside it contains more lead, arsenic, mercury and various chemicals. Vapor contains a lot of unknown, unidentified chemicals as per John Hopkins even now. Well, uh, a single cigarette will not just lead to lung cancer, throat diseases. Let's talk about skin. It will lead to a lot of ways of skin damage. It will lead to pigmentation, early aging, dull skin, uh, wrinkling, uh, heavy wrinkle line over here, creases in the ears, especially for ladies. It will lead to creases and wrinkling around the lips. Well, it's dangerous, right? Well, a nicotine is what we the people go in the cigarette for. They go for the nicotine kick, the active stimulant. Nicotine, which when released in our body, will lead to eventually making the blood capillaries smaller. It will go and attach there and hence lead to these kind of skin diseases. We see uh, Berger's disease, we see psoriasis, we see pustulopastulosis, we see lots of many more diseases uh, because of smoking and it's more common in smokers. Worst hit are the passive smokers. Yes, even passive smoking is as worse almost as active smoking. So if you don't smoke at all, be sure that if your friends are smoking, you're far away from them. Keep your skin hydrated even if you're passive smoking. And yes, active smokers must obviously reduce their smoking habit. They should shift to, you know, various other stimulants, try and find various other kicks in life. But most importantly, regarding skin, they should stay hydrated. Dehydration is the biggest problem which cigarette causes. And if we are hydrated inside out and outside in, from outside in, I mean applying glycerin, moisturizers, niacinamide, inside out, it's just water. Just gulp it down as much as possible. Well, as we discussed what nicotine does to the blood capillaries, carbon monoxide attaches faster to RBCs, the red blood cells, which is like a small thing which rotates in our body, which carries all the nutrition everywhere. And as everywhere, the worse thing is always going to be faster in action. Carbon monoxide is faster than oxygen in combining with our red blood cells. It will lead to a lot of damage, the uh, pustular psoriasis, palmoplantar pustulosis. We lead to delay wound healing. If you're a diabetic plus a smoker, delayed wound healing can be really very dangerous. So yes, maybe probably we should save our money, have less cigarette and uh, have a healthier lifestyle. Most importantly, hydration, keeping ourselves healthy and ways to fight the free radicals. Cigarette leads to free radicals, which leads to oxidative stress, early death. Well, if you are 40 year old and uh, you're a heavy smoker, skin biopsy of your skin would be similar to somebody as old as 70 years old. So why cause that damage? Let's live a healthy life today and let's pledge to be healthier. Friends, please keep asking us questions. Please write down some queries. We will try to incorporate them in our article topics and videos.